as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He was handed over to death for our sins. He was raised to life to justify us. Alleluia. My name is Father John Martin Ruiz, and I am a religious assistant for this chapter of the Lay Fraternities of St. Dominic. We have different members of this family of St. Dominic. We have cloister nuns who are members of the orders, the Order of Friars Preachers. But we also have laymen and women who are associated with the order and who make promises to embrace this way of life. They also embrace the missionary element of spreading the gospel for the sake of the salvation of souls. I'm a convert to Catholicism and after I converted with my family I felt like I was supposed to do something else but honestly wasn't sure what it was. I was attending a Dominican parish in Seattle and a priest during a homily actually told the story of St. Dominic which I didn't know all that well and described this famous incident in the life of Dominic in which he is at an inn overnight and the innkeeper has fallen into a heresy and St. Dominic rather than badgering him or condemning him spent all night essentially witnessing to him and doing apologetics and arguing with him and at the uh, the end of the night the early morning the the innkeeper had become a catholic again and that sort of describes the dominican charism it's, it's really to preach the gospel in whatever particular way you can do it and and that honestly resonated with both my interest with the things i had been doing and just the thought of going deeper into a specific kind of spirituality and honestly consecrating the work that i was doing it, it really appealed to me Easter was my 25th anniversary of being Catholic. I felt like I had 20 years of catching up to do of learning about the faith and what I had just entered into. Once it was done, I was looking for some other type of community. I, I found out about the Dominicans and thought, well, I'll give them a try. And the very first meeting that I came to, they were just starting St. Augustine's Confessions, which had been on my reading list, actually. It was just fabulous, and I just sat there, just, this is it. <laughs> this is, so there, that was it. Every other one was out the door at that point, and I knew from that woman on that it was the Dominicans. The Dominican charism of preaching in the vocation of family. Obviously, it comes in with my children my son's asking to get this video game. One that's, you know, wildly inappropriate. Like, no, 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 you can't have that. Why can't I have it? Why can't I have oh, it? Because virtue is a habit of the will. <laughs> and, and he gets that. You know, raising children, obviously, it, it comes into play. But, it, you know, there's also a tension there, too. I mean, I would love to just sit and study all day, but there's a balance that so has to come into play between doing that and being a preacher to those that are given to us. There's, there's many ways you can serve God, and uh, living our Dominican spirituality is something very special, and it's, it's a vocation. It's something that you're called to. A lot of us try to support the diocese by really supporting our church. You know, we're living our Dominican faith in our church. We're lectors, we're uh, Eucharistic ministers, ushers. All these things are very important. Because it is the year of a consecrated life, I see the blessings God has given us. As Dominicans, we pray the divine office, and we pray it with the, all the other Dominicans. We read about the lives of the Dominicans as well as the, their works, and those inspire us to live the Dominican vocation and strive to be saints. A lot of American Christians and Western Christians are aware of something that's happening in the culture. We're aware of attack on the family, attack on the dignity of, of human life. And, and we worry that the elements of Christianity, Christian theology that shaped our culture are, is now waning. I think this is precisely the moment in uh, which Dominicans are called to pursue their vocation. We should consider this not as something to be depressed about, but as an opportunity. It's another opportunity for the light of the gospel to shine more brightly in a, in a darkening culture.